and another Luke playing his Space Invaders. Hello! <laughs> Let's just say, um, this is the third time I've recorded this. So, hopefully I can remember what I said in the last two things. I think, I think I've think rehearsed it twice now. So, here goes. Right, bit of a different video today. Um, going to be talking about vintage Star Wars, which is something I haven't done for, for a, a while. This, it's what the channel was based on. It's not, not just vintage Star Wars, obviously, but I did start out doing podcasts 2016. I started doing one and then uh, that was Talk Star Wars Toy Box. You can go to that, I think, somewhere. But 2019, I did start doing the the Star Wars toy box, the Star Wars toy box, the Star Wars toy podcast. And it was just all Star Wars. So that really stemmed into doing YouTube, which is encompassing all British toys, but mainly vintage Star Wars. So I just want to get back to what I was doing back then really get back to basics basically I so this is going to really be why I collect vintage Star Wars and we'll start off I mean I've tried to collect all 96 for four four times in my lifetime four times I'm very close to it this time very close, three three blasters to get. So for, I mean, the first uh, the first time I uh, I remember getting the Star Wars comics and seeing the the advert, like like one of these adverts, one of the adverts it was like it made it made it look like the figures were shaking, like made them like action figures. Uh, I think I remember the Ben Kenobi one. Obviously, didn't come out for a while. 78, so from 78 to 85, there were the vintage. And yeah, 88 with the Argentinian, but we won't go into that. So, first, so my first, first ever figure was Darth Vader. I remember it, I remember it so well, going to uh, Anne's Toy Store on Jeffrey Market. Um, used to go with my mum every every Saturday down to, to Dewsbury, do some shopping. Um, I used to I used to get 50p spend. I used to get some Matchbox cars, and then when Star Wars figures came out, I thought, oh, and then I, then I got I got I got a pound spend a month, a week, sorry, and they were like 99 p on the market. I think they were, and you used to shout at you. So you would, I would I would take ages trying to figure out which one I wanted, and if you didn't have it, you had to go to to Woolworths. And they were one pound twenty-five in Walmart, so we normally usually got the one from the market. I remember getting, I remember taking it home and yeah, taking it off the card. Yeah, that is one card of figure I would love. That is one. I do have a couple of card of figures, but I would not. I don't want to go down the route of collecting vintage Star Wars carded figures. It's all loose for me. That's just loose. But Vader is definitely one that I do actually want. Because it was my first. It was my first one. I remember because we, we rushed back. I wanted to listen to the, the Star Wars radio broadcast, the ra radio drama. And if you've not listened to that, please go check it out. It is on YouTube. Go check it out. Go listen to it. I think Andy Daniels does the voices in that as well. And I think I'm sure Mark Hamill did, did Luke and a few other characters. Some might be where he... He learned how to do the uh, the voice acting, but um, that is absolutely brilliant. I, I remember opening the card and listening to it, and and I don't remember getting any other other figure. I think I remember getting like the Luke Jedi and things like that, the Jedi line, the early ones. But um, 
I don't think I remember anything. I remember getting a speeder bike and being like, well, I won't, not, we're not talking about the vehicles today. I don't think we've got a Millennium Falcon there, but I don't think we're going to... I'm not really into collecting the, the vehicles or the places or anything like that. Really. Um, it takes up too much space. The figures are perfect on the on the shelves. Um, so that was the first time of me getting... I think I finished by 83, 84. 80, let's say 84. I stopped getting Star Wars figures. I think I stopped getting... I think I got 18 figures and then I got ghost, real Ghostbuster figures, but I kind of moved away from toys for a for a for a few minutes. Um, so that was the first time, and it was. I mean, me now thinking back, it's just all pure nostalgia. I could. It's the things you remember in your life are the happy times. And collecting Vinci Star Wars was happy. Was a happy time for me. Apart from the time that uh, some bigger boys from the school um, came and stole a lot of my figures. Me and my friend were playing outside, and I came over and stole a few. And what can you do anyway? Bad, bad times. Um, let's not talk about those. So. Mainly, ninety percent of the time, it's um, it is positive. It is positive. So, I think the second time, I tried. I mean, I said collecting. Did we collect? I mean, it did say collect all. How many ninety two didn't it on the back of the? So I kind of think we did kind of collect. I remember collecting Corgi's bond cars. I, I, I had a collection of those. I played with them. I think we collected and played, didn't we, back then? Now we just collect. I'm gonna be a bit of plain. Um, so the second time, I think it was well until 1990 when I found. I mean, I, I don't, I don't remember any of the, the last 17. I don't even remember seeing them and anything like. I don't, I don't, I didn't, I didn't see them in Wolver. So anything, I wasn't, I wasn't really looking at toys. I remember, I remember seeing Transformers and. And penny races and things like that in Wilbur's, but never last seventeen. I mean, I can uh, I know about the the dump bins full of yak faces for for fifty p, but that's been implanted in my memory. That's I never saw that. I don't think. Um, but I got I found a store on Leeds Market. They were selling vintage Star Wars. They were selling toys and the vintage Star Wars. And I was looking through it and I thought, this is cool. And even then it was like nostalgia. And I picked up an Anakin. And I'd never seen Anakin. And I, for some reason, I, I knew that it was a special figure. And it was a mail away. How did I know that? Was it, it might have been in a comic or something like that I was reading. And it just, I don't know. It might... I don't know, anyway. But I knew about it. I showed his friends, look at this, I got it for 20, 20 p and he's like, oh, wow. So I started collecting. But I think that was the first time I got Millennium Falcons. Definitely first time I got a Jabba the Hutt. Um, and I think I stopped that, stopped collecting them. So I sold the lot to buy American football equipment. I needed a helmet and shoulder pads because I started playing American football. So I had to buy... Had to buy those. Um, they cost. They cost. Still cost a lot of money, but they cost. There were a lot of money back then, so I had to sell everything. Um, so again, it's just like moving, adulting, isn't it? I suppose. Um, but I mean, it never, it never, never went away. The the feeling, the collecting of, and the vintage style. I mean, between eighty three and ninety nine, we had no movies. Or books, comics, games, bendems. <laughs> There's no, no, no films. But I tell you what, it's not, it's not the films for me. Star Wars is about the toys. Now, if you're talking Indiana Jones, that's the movies. We never had the toys. Now I've got lots of Indiana Jones toys. 
Raiders of the Lost Ark is my favourite film of all time because of the character of the film and it's just brilliant. Not saying Star Wars isn't, but Star Wars isn't the films for me. It is the toys. It's a completely different thing. We didn't get many Indiana Jones. Well, they didn't get any any Indiana Jones stuff. I think I got a official collector's edition magazine or whatever else. A guide to the F Temple of Doom or something like that. Oh, I got the I got the tape. I got the Temple of Doom tape. I've still got that. From 1984, 40 year old. Anyway, so there wasn't a lot of Indiana Jones. So it's basically the film for me. Whereas Star Wars, we had everything. And the books, like I say, records, the, the little record, read along records. Oh, I love those for any film like Back to the Future, uh, Ghostbusters, and I had them all. I had them all. Star Trek, even. I love the Star Trek ones. I used to listen to them all the time. Anyway, uh, so you start. Yeah. So there was a big gap for me. I still love Star Wars. Uh, I remember. It, I think maybe this is to do with collecting again in 99. I heard that George Lucas was starting to write a new film. And that's maybe what prompted me to go look for things again. But obviously 1999 came over, came out and we never bought the episode one stuff. I bought it all for my son. But it wasn't until 2016 I had my shop. And obviously I was getting Star Wars figures for the shop. But I wasn't collecting them for myself. And I thought, you know what? You know, I'll get a few. So I thought, no, you know what? I'll get them all. I'll try and get them all. Because it was a bit easier back then. It was a bit easier. Um, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into, I won't go into um, where to get them or how to get them or Guides, what book to get to. You always get a guide, though, if you're going to start collecting. But I'll, maybe I'll do a part two. If you're interested, let me know in the comments or send me a message. Let me know. If you have any questions, if you are going to start collecting, let me know. Um, we'll get on to that. So, third time, 2016. Nearly got them all. Nearly got them all, but I had a few issues, a few personal issues, which I won't go into. It's not about me. It's about a bit about me, my, about my collecting habits. It's not about my personal life, but I had a few issues. I had to sell them. I had to sell them. I had to sell a few things, and I wasn't happy about it. So I didn't get them again. So um, a lot of things happened, and um, it was took me a couple of years to get over what happened and, and back 2019 I went I got back into collecting again and I was initially I was going to just get the first 12 um I did get um Leia Endor from Cosmic Toys shout out for the Gareth there um it was complete and I thought oh it's good I'll get that and then I thought you know what I'll just I'll get a few so I, got, I thought I'll get the first 12 can't afford to get them all. But then I start seeing Return of the Jedi ones. I kept picking up a few because they're cheap. And then I thought, Empire Strikes Back to my favourite line. So I thought, what we'll do is, we'll get the first 12, we'll do the Empire Strikes Back, and then we'll finish the Return of the Jedi. And then we'll get to last 17. Um... So I got the first one. I've got the got the Empire Strikes Back line. You had to get the bounty hunters. Um, Saga in the Return of the Jedi. Got that thing. Then I got lucky with some of the the last seventeen. Somebody was selling theirs, and I did get three of them. And then they said, "Oh, I'm selling another three, and they want to do the same deal." But they were pretty cheap. They were pretty cheap. And I got them very, very cheaply. There was a pop-up lightsaber R2-D2, which I didn't need because I I got a bit of money. Again, personal reasons, I got a bit of money. And the first thing, one of the first things I bought was um, 
the pop-up lightsaber R2-D2 because that that figure is means a lot to me. I've had a couple before. I got one out of a Toy Fair pound box. And then I got another one that wasn't very good. That we had a brown sticker and I did get a repro stick. I didn't stick it on. I, I put it round it. I didn't put it on. And that went with me to on my honeymoon. So it went with me everywhere. It normally comes and goes with me every, everywhere. I, I took it to celebration last year. Um, this one. And um, so it's, it's, it's one of those figures that means a lot to me. So I got that. It was only £250, and I did sell the, the one I got for 250 as well because I thought, I'm not going to... Even though the money, the price had doubled on it by the time I was selling I thought, not going to... No, I'll just sell it for what I bought this one for. So I got, I actually got money back for buying the last 17. Six of the last 17, I got money, extra money, to get the rent. So... I mean, it was to do with having this channel because obviously I had, I, had the, I had the toy podcast. I was listening to that the other, the other day, the, the 2019 version of the podcast, not the talk Star Wars toy box that we did in 2016, 2017. So 2019 version, I was listening to it. It's on the, it's actually on the playlist. If you want to go look at the playlists on this channel, and I tell you what, it wasn't that bad. It was about the, um, the blasters, the, the weapons, and putting each figure with each weapon and giving you a value on the weapon. And I, I, I have downloaded it. I was going to put put the pictures up, put the pictures of figures and the, the weapons and things like that, but I got a few things wrong. So I might have to re-record that. And if, it, if you want that, uh, what, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot more vintage Star Wars on this channel again. Do more, because... There's never enough Vintage Star Wars videos. There's a playlist for that as well, Vintage Star Wars. Go check that out um, if you're interested. Um, so, a bit of a tangent there. So, got the, the Papa Lysaber out of very, it means for, I mean, meant a lot for me. Got that. And I've, I heard, I don't know if he said it or wrote it in a comment, but a very prominent toy YouTuber actually said, don't use your toys as a crutch. Now, I did. I did. I had them next to my bedroom door for one of the time I went to bed. I'd see the figures and i think, oh, made me happy. You know what I mean? Nostalgia makes me happy. That's my drug of choice. I love nostalgia, and this is why I do this. This is why I love Vintage Star Wars. This is why I do this this channel. Um, for him to say how to feel, how to collect, it's not right. I would never tell anybody how to feel or not to do something or... Uh, I'd advise, I like to advise this is what I do this is what I do this is why I'm here this is why I had my shop this is why I did a podcast this is why I do this channel I need to get back to doing that helping people so if you've got any questions on anything any any toy topic not just vintage towers message me you can find me you can email me you can find me on X tw um X, tw X or Twitter, the same thing. Uh, X, <laughs> Facebook, um, not so much on Facebook because I don't really go on that. But I mean, you can get, comment here. Just, just there's plenty of ways to get in touch with me. And just, I'm just here to help. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit about collecting vintage, vintage Star Wars. Again, it's it could lead on to another video where I tell you, I tell you, I tell you advise you um, on the best ways the best places and things like that but for him to say that I don't think he's right um, I'm not going to name him but um, 
for any for any person to tell anybody else how to feel or what to collect or you know it's just it's mind boggling mind boggling why would you do that my star wars figures brought me through a very rough time and i'm only here because of them basically i know it sounds dramatic but it's true um I did the podcast to, to help me through and it started to be a chore. So, so I, I thought, you know what, I'll go on, I'll go on you. I use YouTube. I, I, I done, I'd done a couple of YouTube videos before, but not very seriously. And I, I started out and I got, I had 50 subscribers before the, the, <coughs> um, and then we did start the Pala Boys, which was, mainly, it was it's just mainly talking about Star Wars, talking about all toys, but, um, we used to do that every night. I used to sit here. I used to have my computer there. I used to sit here and do four or five hour podcasts. And I used to do it by myself. And then the guys that were, there were like four or five guys. And I said, come on. And we'll, so we, we started doing a, a live stream every night. For, for, a, for a long time, we did every night. And then, and then um, it got, less regular like a couple of times a week and yeah and then we we split up unfortunately um i think i'm better by myself to be honest with you i do like to be on a live stream but i tend to like to go on other people's live streams as opposed to people coming on mine i do like to get people on and have a chat which is good and learn about other things from other people which is what it's about isn't it um but obviously when I first started it was about Vintage Star Wars and I just I just have a couple of figures in and we'll talk talking about them. Uh, this is this, this is this and I think I need to get back to that. I think it's just very get back to basics. I have tried to improve with equipment, with with microphones, cameras. Um I'm trying to get I've built a little backdrop, I'm trying to get that sorted i'm trying to film things better i know i once did a, a i think i did a review on the but uh, it might be in the attack something like that i did it on the on the floor and somebody said oh do you, you do it on your floor well it's you know it's it's too big what am i supposed to but i would like to get like a little table i think i think we're gonna get one of those fold away tables yeah but that's that's in the future um so i did start doing the um, figures I think I, I must I must have done the first 12 and that's somewhere I think it's on the on the Star Wars Vintage Star Wars playlist go check go check the go check people's if you're going on a channel and you want to know about something go on the playlists check the playlists I think it's only YouTube who's know about playlists and uh, they're not pushed that often go check my playlists out because there's like toy hunts and then there's the vintage Star Wars, but there's like the gaming, which I unlist everything now on, on the game, but I think you can still see it. And uh, there's the podcasts as well. I think there's like 39 of them. So, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a bit of entertainment if you want to listen to it. Um, these, these are, I, I prefer, I much prefer to do these more like, these are more like podcasts uh, in a visual form. Uh, which I think are better, it's easier. It was, it's quite hard to do a podcast, you know. It is very hard to do a podcast. But uh, this is quite easy, just talk to a camera. Um, right, so we talked about vintage Star Wars. Do you want to go look at my collection? Let's go have a look. So here, here are the figures um, I do on. I am trying to, that was purple. It is, it is kind of going the same colour as that. I don't know if it could really. It's, it's still purple, but I think it is turning blue, isn't it? I don't think it's as purple as it was. But uh, yeah, that's why I've got two different variants of the Ugnaught. There's uh, Yoda. Brown snake version. I don't have an orange snake version just yet. Our droid. And here we have variants of the. R5, D4, Red Bar. There's two 
177 and 178, I couldn't tell you which at the moment. So the two different versions of that, you can, I've done a video on that, you can see it's the shoulders and the eyes and yeah, it's all different variants of that. Obviously, R2D2, Solid Dome, Sensor Scope, Pop-Up Lightsaber, Takara, oh, there's a chopper, doesn't, doesn't exist in this universe. Um, there's the Jawa, there's the Vinyl Cape Jawa, there's red snag, I don't have a blue snag. Oh, sorry about the glare. So we have um, the Tuscan Raider, no hollow tubes as yet. That's the one variant I don't have. Cloud Care Pilot, got two variants of the white Bespin Guard with the different moustaches, different faces as well, I think. We've got two variants of Lando, Lobot, no variants at all. <laughs> We've got a black Bespin Guard. Um, trying to get these with the gold on. The black one comes very easily with the gold, but it's the, the white one doesn't. So it's nice to get two variants with nice gold on those. Um, best spin, Han. I'm trying to get the glare off. Right, best spin, Han. With the uh, the gas mask. Han Hoff. With, I think, moulded legs. I'm not entirely sure. We've got um, two variants of Han. Original Han. Big Ed Smallhead. Chew it. And got Luke. Stormtrooper, Luke, Jedi Knight with a blue saber. All my different, well not all, I've got about, I've got about 10 of them. Different coloured hairs of Bespin Luke, Hoth Luke, Pilot Luke, and Olive Brown, not Brown, Olive type hair of original Luke Skywalker. There we go. Hoth. Rebel Trooper, Hoth Commander, 3PO. I think that's with solid limbs. Um, I do have solid limbs and I do have removable limbs. 2-1-B, FX-7, Greedo, Hammerhead. We've got Bosk, Fallom, Zuckus. Yes, it is Fallom and Zuckus. That order. A G-88, Attack Pilot. Attack driver, would you say? Um, the snow trooper. Now, I did have a variant where the uh, the eyes are joined together, the unibrow variant. <sighs> Scout trooper. I do have one up here on a speeder bike, but I do have two speeder bikes. Because there's the other look there on the other variant of the speeder bike. But I do want the Lily Lady version. Trying to get that back in. I want to get the Lily Lady version. Stormtrooper in really good condition. I like that. ATSD driver. Pedal commander. Death Squad commander. Death Star droid. In really good condition. Vader. With his saber. Ah, I did, I, I got one wrong, I got one wrong, because that is the, the attack commander, isn't it? Yes, it is the attack commander, I got one wrong. Um, so we've got the Imperial commander there. Thai pilot, one of the best smelling figures of all time. Um, let's try and get that, yeah, there we go. Now, he's one, he's one. The guest star gunner that I don't have the weapon for. I need three weapons. There's the Royal Guard. There's the Emperor. There's Prince. I mean, um, Fatal Dignitary. Anakin. Now we've got three variants of Ben Kenobi. White hair, grey hair, and whiter hair. <laughs> so we've got three different variants. They are different colours. I don't know if it picks it up very well, but it, it, it's like... It's like a, a light grey, a dark grey, and a white. 
Broom face. Out. I think they've all got their sabers. I'm not sure if the one at the back has his saber, but those two have the sabers. Um, Rebel Commando. There's uh, General Lando with his blaster. That's the last blaster I've got. There's Han. I put him there because he's like the Empire's giant. I should really put him up there with the rest of the hands, but uh, yeah. Nine um Akbar. Medin. Another one without his his uh, blaster is the B Wing pilot A, A Wing pilot. See? Got me. Uh, and the B Wing pilot with his blaster. And then down here, Wicket. Chief Chirper, Romba, Paplu, Logre, Loma, Tibo, Warwick, and another Luke playing his Space Invaders. I don't know what you're thinking. Where, did, where the hell's Leia? So there we are. All the different layers with the blasters. Luckily enough. Complete, very good condition, very good. So there's Leia. And we also have Jabba's Palace. So we've got Jabba, solid, oh, <laughs> the opposite to the one you've seen in the cabinet, 3PO. It's, there's, there's Leia there, but you know. There we go, we've got the Rancor monster. Rancor monster, Rancor keeper, 2-1-B, EV-99, we've got the Bomber Monk there as well. we got the Luke with the green saber. Now he does have the sewn cape, where the one in the cabinet has the snap cape. And he has the grey blaster where the one has, has a beige blaster. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Bib, We've got Slashers there. We've got Boba. Oh, we've got a Lack. We've got a, a Lack there as well. Uh, Gamorrean, Squid. Nikto. Klatu. Weakwe. That's Lando. Look at his eyes. Look at him. He's looking at you. That is Lando. I, didn't, I know you didn't know, but it is. We've got Han there, at the back. I've got the Max Rebo band. I've got Yak. I've got Yaki Yak. Don't talk back. R yeah, we're re -ease. we don't talk about it. Yeah, I've got two of the, the, the worst figures together, re Reese and Denga. A man, a man. And, oh, we've got, we've got Skiff Guard. Back to skip guard. And finally we have Barada. Barada. So there we go. That is my vintage Star Wars collection. Probably my most cherished Star Wars, vintage Star Wars item is the mail away survival kit there. Now it is in a Palatoy bag. So I need a Kenner bag because it is a Kenner box. Kind of instructions, kind of catalog, but palatoy. <laughs> so I don't need that to change that up. But yeah, that prime of place in my Star Wars collection. On oh, the Falcon. So the, yeah, there, there's um, there's my collection. I did I did struggle on the Ewoks names. I, I, I did I do like to remember the Ewok names. But now I don't need anything, and now I've got them all. I've forgotten. That's, this is what I do. I read things, do videos, and I, I read I read something else, and I forget about that. So I don't know everything. I don't know everything, so I can't answer everything. Unless um, I get a specific question, I'll go and research it. If anybody I get a specific request to do a video, I'll go research it, and I'll do, I'll do the video. I've done, I've done some very obscure videos 
on request. Um, not like that. <laughs> so I will do more or less any toy, really, because I am interested in all toys. I'd like to do a video on very obscure toy lines because Star Wars is the least obscure, I think. I think that's the least obscure. But um, yeah, I hope you like the. I hope you like my collection. I do need those three blasters, and then oh, if I if I do finish, if I finish that, I can I can die happy. Then that's my bucket list done. I don't want to do it just yet, though. Not just yet. Um, I I just love doing it. I just the thing is. Collecting is about going out there in the wild. This is what I think, anyway. This is my opinion. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to. I'm not an influencer. I don't want to influence you. Um, I'm just a just a normal YouTuber, innocent YouTuber. So yeah, it's just my opinion that um, collecting is means going out looking for stuff. I mean, it'd be nice to have a lot of money built. To, I don't. I don't think I would though. I don't think I'd just go and go out and just buy everything it's like going on ebay, eBay it's, it's difficult if you're a collector and you're looking for a certain certain item you've got to do your hard work you've got to do your your research and your, you you've got to it's 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 a slog it's a slog trying to find something you've got to look troll through countless number of it's nice though it is it is a part of collecting but I I believe going out, going to toy toy fairs, car but not maybe not car boats much these days. But you know, antique shops. And again, we can talk about where to get, where to go, um, how to collect. I, I've done I've done a lot of those videos, but um, I need to get back to doing them. Um, I I mean. Rocky finding Boba Fett for a million million dollars. One million it's not it's not a million pounds, it's million dollars. But how much money must you have to buy to, to drop a million dollars on a bit of plastic like that? I wouldn't I, even if I was a multi billionaire, I would not um, justify that at all. I mean the hundred pounds is is a lot. But um, the, the million pound, I did. We did say a few years back that there won't be. It won't be long before it is over a million. And I think it went for like two hundred and fifty thousand straight over to a million. And it's quite quicker than I thought it would be. But it was. It is going that way. I mean, don't don't go into collecting thinking you're going to make money. Don't do it as an investment. I mean, it is. Don't get me wrong. If if I was in trouble, I don't want to sell me me figures. But if I was in trouble, and I need the money in an emergency. I would sell them. I think there's only one thing, one item I wouldn't sell in my collection. That's the Carrie Fisher signed Black Series Princess Leia, um, because I'm never going to get that again. There's a few autographs I do want. My camels. Um, Harrison Ford. I think Harrison Ford I'd like as uh, Indiana Jones or not. Han Solo. But Mark Hamill, I waited for three days at Celebration in 2016 for... Uh, I think it was like £160 he wanted. And it's funny, I think I got five... I got uh, Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker's, P. Mayhew's, Ken Corley's and Carrie Fisher's for under £200. I think Carrie was for eighty pound, for under under two hundred pounds. And last year, actually, that sound was hundred and seventy pound, I think. And Emmett Damid was hundred and twenty. So that's two. That's more for two, nearly nearly more for one than five of the OG characters. You know what I mean? It's uh, been what eight years? No, seven years. It was twenty. It was last year, wasn't it? So yeah, seven years. It's, uh, it's, so uh, can you imagine how much is going to be in another in other seven years? It's, it's, I mean, 
Most of them are, are passed away now, unfortunately. I would like to have got James Earl Jones's. That would have been nice, but hey ho. Um, so, if you are thinking about collecting, remember that certain collectors, YouTubers, will make you believe that Star Wars figures are expensive. Now, some of them are. Don't, I don't don't get me wrong. Some of them are. Your last seventeen. The thing is, if you just want the figures, you can you can get as many as you want. They're very cheap. They're very cheap. There are millions of them out there. If you want the weapons, and if you want them complete, I would get them complete. Buy them complete. Don't get the figures like I did. Don't listen to me. Um, <laughs> just, I mean, especially the last 17. The, 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 so a couple of figures are expensive, but it is the weapons. It is the accessories that come with them. So, yeah, just... Just try and get complete. I mean, the Warwick I got, I I needed the bow. I had Warwick, but I needed the bow. I needed the, the quiver. And I think I bought one with the quiver, even though I had one, just for the quiver, sold that. And then I, I bought another complete one, just for the bow. I sold that. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to have to do this. I think I did, I did the same with Luke. End our look. I've already had him. But I bought another one just for the blaster. And I ended up giving the blaster to Lando. So I still need a blaster for, for Luke. <laughs> um, I think buying a Lando would be more expensive because of the cape. The cape's about £60 by itself. Last time I checked anyway. That's why I need to do that video. I need to do the video where I'm going to talk about the accessories and how much they are worth and what accessory goes with what figure so that's in the future if you're interested let me know um so uh, yeah it, it's best to buy them complete even if you need the accessories because you can sell the figure then plus you're getting some money back i think the look about 420 so the look for 70 so i've got the blaster for 50 which is a lot but there are i think about 120 120 pound on eBay, so I saved money. I mean, I can go out and get them, but I'm not going to do it because it's not collecting. I don't think anywhere. Not for me. I mean, if you've got the money, go and get it, and you need it, you go get it. But I mean, I've got a robot skull here. I still need the wing. I still need a few parts for it. Um, I can't find a wing. So, <laughs> the, the other parts, so I can find very easily. It's just I'm not going to go and get. I might get one now and again if I need it, but I want to find them. Maybe it's a job lot. It's like the figures. If you want to start collecting, get a job lot. That's my advice on starting collecting. If, if you're just starting, um, let me know. If there's any questions you want to know, ask me. Oh, this is what I'm here for. This is what I do. This is, this is, I used to be a toy value. I don't do it anymore. I do it now and again, but I don't do it for money anymore. I and if you want, if you want values for anything, I'm I'm always here. Um, uh, I say it's not, it's not. Um, I forget things. <laughs> things have got. I think there's more things I've forgot than I remember. But I always, I'll always find out for you. I'm all, that's what I'm here for. So I had the toy shop, why I had the to podcast, so I have this channel. And I want to get back to that. Because I love doing it. And not just Vinci Star Wars, anything. Anything I can find out about. And if you want me to do videos, I'll do them. Simple. Simple as that. I, I love doing it. I love doing it. I love talking about toys with you. And I hope you appreciate that. I hope you, if you are new, please subscribe. That would be very nice of you. Um, I know my community are very, very, very loyal, very positive, apart from a couple of, no, I'm joking. <laughs> very welcoming. 
and it's a safe space for us geeks, us collectors. I do wear glasses up, by the way. It's, it's just I'm not I'm not wearing them today. I'm not wearing them now. Um, I just took them off for a bit. I just I just think I just feel like that I'm I'm, I'm going to be pushing my buddy because I've got I've not got my ray bands on, so <laughs> effects the recording. Um, so I think I think. If you do want to, if you do want to start collecting, please, please get in touch. But I say, don't, don't, don't expect to buy them for value. They will go up. Don't get me wrong. They will, they will go up in value. But don't get them just. I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, don't do it. But you can, I mean, you can if you want. But I'm just. I would advise that you really need to love them. Really need to love them, like I do. And that's what I'm trying to get across in this video, that my love for my vintage Star Wars, even though I'm not doing the videos as much as now, because I've nearly got to the end of them, I will always, I will always love you. Um, <laughs> sorry. I will always love the vintage Star Wars, and that will always be my fallback for collecting. Back, I mean, the Action Man. The Action Man is, is something I collected as a kid, but it's just not. It's just not there. Is it? It's nostalgia in your chest, or is it belly? I don't know. Is in your head? I don't know. I think it's like a really nice mellow feeling, isn't it? Oh, I think it's in your chest, you know, I think it's your heart and it's when you see something, even if you see something you've not seen for you've not seen for years and you're totally forgotten about it, you think, oh, and it takes you back and it's just the best feeling in the world. Well, yeah, it is, it is a good feeling. But yeah, Action Man is just doesn't do it for me for some reason. When I collected them before Star Wars, like Matchbox cars, I collected them before with Action Man for Star Wars and it's and it's now Corgi I, I, I did get a lot of Corgi back then um, most, mostly James Bond anything that did anything I liked <sighs> so yeah um, my favourite figure is Luke best spin because he had a lightsaber and a blaster um, but the one that means more to me now is pop up lightsaber R two D two. I do have a lot of best spin looks, so I like them because they're, they're all different. Every time you buy them, I like went to Halifax a couple of weeks back. I just I picked two more up. And I've got about I don't know. I've, I must have about fifteen by now. A lot. I've got a lot of best spin layers as well because they're different. They're all different. It's weird. Anyway, we're not we're not talking about variants because that's a, that is another another rabbit hole to go down. Another video. So anyway, um, I'm going to go now because I don't know how long this video is going to be because it's the third time I've done it, and I probably did better the last two. I think the first one was better, but I can't show you that because the the audio was absolutely crap because I filmed it on Streamyard. For some reason, it wasn't doing so. I'd like did half an hour each. So I've talked about about an hour and a half, I think, maybe more, maybe two, uh, close to two hours on vintage Star Wars. So I'm gonna have to go now. Um, so thank you for. I really appreciate you being here. My community is just fantastic. I love you all. You know that. And if you're new here, please do stick around. Because we've got a lo lovely bunch of people. And Kieran. <laughs> Love you. Um, so I'm going to go now. Please like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Let's always be with you. Thanks, Shiver. Thanks,
Thank you. Bye-bye, Jaipa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.